Rams, you know what I'm saying? So did I tell you? Did I tell you what happened in Hyde Park? When y'all had that telepathic or something else? Oh uh, no. Nah. Something else? Yeah. Nah. Well, like, so my great grandparents they came here from Italy and that they built that house not like by hand, but you know, <coughs> yeah. they you know. They built it. Yeah. They, they bought they the land. The they came, they, for they some came with like they came you know? with like five bucks in their pocket yeah. and like were able to build a house. Ten, this was like the summer of 2010. I was still living in Florida, but I, I would come up to Boston for like the summers with my grandparents. We'd drive up. No, yeah, you definitely didn't tell me. This. So now, and you you know you know that house. Yeah. So picture the picture right where the door is to go downstairs in the hallway, right? I'm right, right there, like also where like the uh, AC thing is on yeah. the wall, like right in that area. The thermostat. Yeah. I was like upset about something. I was like, and I, I were bringing in grocery bags, and I was just like, I'm gonna burn this fucking house down. I said it out loud, right? And then you know how you walk into the kitchen, just like right picture, you just walk one step in the, like two steps in the kitchen, right? Right, right where the fridge is. My grandmother was right there, and I'm in the hallway, and I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna burn down this house, fuck this shit. And the next second, bro, I felt this cold breeze, like, walk past, right past me in that hallway, and I heard a female voice, like, with an accent, say, like, Justin. And I turned around so fucking quick, and I looked back at my grandmother, because she was right in the kitchen, like, yeah, you can picture it. And she said, I never, like, I looked, like, I just seen a ghost. Like, I was pale as fuck. I'm like, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I kind of did. And it's crazy. Not only that, there's been a couple. It's always been, and it's definitely been, like, negative experiences. I think that was probably my great-grandparents just, like, calm the fuck down. Like, you're not burning the fuck down. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. think it was, like. It's you don't think it's experience. anything malicious. No. But like, you, but my grandmother be. had an experience where, and I'll share it really quick before we end the show, since we're all just sharing a few experiences. One time, like 30, 40 years ago, she was downstairs, and you can picture the kitchen downstairs, doing laundry, and, she, and this was after her father passed, and she heard her father call her name, Mary, Mary, Save Mary. Mary. And I, I, are... I always get, and that's why, I, I, ever since I was a kid, I was always scared of going downstairs because I was always get this weird, a eerie feeling. Eerie feeling. You want to know what's crazy? And I the... remember you going to your house like around 2018, 2017, and I think I crashed there because I was drunk like that night, and that night I needed to use the bathroom. I went downstairs to use the bathroom. I felt like there was something big that's not human. Staring at me while I was using the bathroom downstairs, and the the door was closed. So then I quickly went towards you know where your uncle has the weight on that chair. Yeah. I quickly stood there and I looked around, surveyed everything, and I prayed, and then I went up the stairs. I was what, run up the stairs. What, I walked so slow. I walked right up the stairs. You telling me that you felt like you heard you heard a, be a female's voice, right? And your grandma heard a man's voice who evidently and was then, like her then, grandfather. But then let me add, no, who was her, who was who's, her father? Who was her dad dad? And, but okay. then also, let me add to this. And then my grandmother, my grandmother's mom, when um, her father passed, so when her, when her husband passed, she supposedly, because I've never met any of my great-grandparents on either side, but supposedly she seen him walking in the hallway one time. I'm going to tell you right now what that could be. And it's not your grandparents or your ancestors. Nope. It's a mimic. Do you know what a mimic is? It's something that can shapeshift. Mm -hmm. And it... it, it, it well, shape -shift, the, the, yeah, way, shapeshift. the way it attracts you... Just don't get into that huge the, rabbit hole on YouTube. The way, the way it attracts you is by giving you a familiar voice or something that will... It's like calming and attracts you, kind of like a siren. You know how Greek mythology sirens would sing to the sailors in order to, the mermaids. The oh, sirens would I don't want to cut you off, but I just got one more thing. I, I just got to say, there was one more thing. I guess the night my grandfather's mom passed in the hospital, he, because picture it like, you know, where, the, where their room used to be in, in Hyde Park. 
he was awoken suddenly and something told him like he heard, he thought he thought he like he thought he heard his mom's voice but he was like he thought like no my grandfather is probably i'm just like out of it i'm just i was dreaming but so he went back to sleep so then two hours or a couple hours later being awoken that she passed so she was calling for him and i don't, I don't know if we get like ever got over that but like it's just crazy how people have different experiences and some people are aware that it's like happening in the moment and some people don't really put it together until after and it's like, that self-awareness yeah, and it's hard that's myself. real hard exactly that's real hard yeah but yeah that could have been a mimic or that could be a mimic that's still in that house and a mimic is on the level of the spirit that mimics something you are normal to and kind of like calms you down but also scares you a bit and then it invites you in until it traps you until it traps you ever since do you, do you ever get kid? that feeling that you want to stay down there in the basement yeah i've never, never. one time in my never I, I, Bro, I, and I grew up, I was, was born that in that house. the house that I went to? Yeah. Um, Wait, house, you went to that house? Yeah. Yeah. You went next to the convenience store? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to that how, place. How did you feel when you went down there? Bro, I don't know. I, to be honest, to be honest with you. You were too busy looking at the collections. Exactly. Yeah, and that, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fucker. That's a fucker on just because y'all talk about Oh, yeah, I want to agree. No, it's not like that. Actually, like, before you even start saying that, I was just, I felt weird. I just kept looking around. I felt weird. Like downstairs? Downstairs. Yeah, it's just always downstairs. downstairs. It's upstairs. I, went, I went there and I was just looking around, but in my head, you know me, I'm trying to be strong. I'm like, no, no, no. And I just kept looking at the collection. I just, I Meanwhile, my it. uncle's just like been down there since fucking 1970. That's, some, that's what I was about to say. Like, I'd love to talk to him to well, see if he, he had said, any he said he's, of... had, he's heard noises before, but it's... But he kind of puts nothing on opinion. Oh, because you know, you know John. Yeah. It's, you know he's not... He's more analytical about yeah. it. Nah, that's yeah. not I mean, yeah. I can say, this, uh, this house is old. Yeah. It's just creeps. Exa that's exactly. That's, that's what that's a lot of John. people say to psychologically... Close, not accept it, not accept it, it and yeah. leave their closed third eye. Leave that spiritual eye, spiritual eyes closed. Yeah. And if those spiritual eyes are closed, then you're of course you're going to be blind to it. But I wonder, does he have any different sparks of emotion, like random emotions? Like, could he be angry today and then like three hours later be cool about it? I mean, I don't want to like put out all of it, Aaron's business though, but he's definitely. I mean, he's open about it. I, I'm. We're all pretty much uh, came to the conclusion that. It's not diagnosed, but if he, if he were to see a doctor, he would be diagnosed that he's like on the spectrum, like like uh, artistically, because socially he has zero. So, like, but he's a very smart. He, he has he has a law degree. He has a fucking law degree. John John's a, you've talked you yeah, he's yeah. very oh, intellectual. Yeah. He's oh, smart. Yeah. He's smart and he's cool. Yeah, and he's yeah and, and non judgmental and like fucking crazy. I gotta have him on the show one time. People, yeah, bro, he, that's what I'm saying. Guy, he walks and runs over a hundred miles a week from Hyde Park all the way to downtown. Like downtown. Yeah. City I don't, Hall. I, I don't want to City say Hall. where he works. City Hall. But Shit. to like City and Hall. He go, and he goes through the, the bad parts on purpose because in his logic, because this is, this is how I know he's like a little, he's a little special. And I'm special too. We're all special. But his, his logic and theory is that he he's willing to risk getting jumped so he can get transferred to the a, a location that's closer to the house. I'm like John, are you? But fucking... is he walking and running? <laughs> well, he'll he'll, he'll, he'll like walk or he'll like jog. But like regardless, but.